It's a blessing mimi naweza nikasema hivyo nimepata bahati ya kuwahoji malegend wakati tukiwa watoto tunawaona unawasikia tena kipindi kile wengine tumekulia vijijini hata tv uone unawasikia lakini leo hii niko nayo hapa na fanya mahojiano kuelekea top band reunion of course ni band ambayo kila mtu alitamani siku moja kumuona chila na TID pamoja tena na hatimaye tarehe 28 tunawaona yukuani the target ya hapa e, mbezi beach kunaitwa hivyo si ndio bro heshima yenu ikurudie pia mimi naitwa Abu Bakar anaitwa Khalid. Okay. Faza, kweba? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Sawa. Mimi nimependa sana kitu ambacho kinaenda kufanyika. Mimi nataka kidogo tu chila. Tueleze what's so special kuelekea siku ya tarehe 28. Siku ya muunganiko tena upya wa Top Band. Alafu nitakuja na maswali mengine haya. It's been almost 30 years or 14 years ya hatua mbali mbali za maisha yetu mimi na rafiki yangu kwa sababu kuna mambo mengi sana yametokea mengi sana mazuri yamefanyika lakini pia hapakosi hasada kwenye riski lakini sisi tulisema haya yote sio muda sahihi wa kurudi nyuma kuangalia eti tulifanya nini tulikosea wapi once you have done a mistake in your life You must flush up everything and start a fresh start new be you. So what we said like yo ebu tufanye kitu tofauti ambacho watu hawaku expect katika maisha yao au katika vision yao. Kwa hiyo tarehe 28 tunakwenda kutengeneza historia kama vile Davido au nani anavojaza arena na nini We are going to put it in a way that everybody is going to appreciate it. Okay. Tumeanza kwenye foundation. Tumerudi kwenye watu wetu ambao walikuwa kitu support enzi na enzi kuwaita kuwaambia kwa nini tumeamua kufanya kitu hiki ni kwa sababu tunaupenda mziki huu. Tuna vipaji. Na tuwezi kufanjaa kwa sababu ya maono ama mawazo ya watu ambao wanapenda kutuona tukiwa separate however it went ana watu wake ana fanbase yake nina watu wangu na fanbase yangu tunawaita pamoja tushikane mikono kwa sababu kesho ni mbali sana okay. mimi sina hakika na kesho sio malaika kwa hiyo tarehe 28 ndio siku ya execution please Nomba na mwenzangu naye aielezee kwa ufasa. Unasema execution, unataka kumexecute nani precisely? Sababu kuna band nyingi hapa. Can you mention? Hizi local bands ambazo zina depend on one artist au good artists who are playing behind it. to execute them. In which way like uh, real execution musically how... musically musical wise musically yeah, we musical. have no gun to shoot somebody <laughs> you're not a lion i'm not a cheater to to kill somebody uh, and the man god na akasema mbwa mwitu na nani na na fisi yani ukija huku utachagua uende kwa kushoto mbwa mwitu kulia fisi nilipenda ulichokiandika TD ulichokiandika kupitia kurasa yako wa Instagram kwamba ulitoa mfanano lakini huyu jamaa anajua sana yes ulitoa ni yeye his his visions perspectives ziko juu zaidi hawa master wako master wangu tena master wako sio ajifao na challenge rover hawana hizi Uh, Tidi ulikuwa umeandika kwamba ukafananisha kilichotokea kwa Maria Carey na Whitney Houston kupitia ukurasa wako wa Instagram kwamba watu kuna namna waliwatengeneza Una, unadhani the same kwenu nyinyi ilitokea kwamba mligombanishwa na watu hiyo ilishotokea kwangu kwangu ilitokea kwanza na Dulce Sykes walistugombanisha tukafanya concert bil, uh, pale Diamond Jubilee nikalalamika tu baada ya kupewa hela ndogo kwa sababu watu walikuja wengi watu wengine walinikasirikia wakataka kunitoa kwenye game so kama alivyosema chila tumepitia mengi mabaya lakini it's not the time to define that moment because we lost a lot of time shuli kimedia anapenda sana kusympathize na viewers wake angalia utaumia mtoto mdogo okay sawa lakini ndio hivyo it take it take a real soldier to understand another real soldier any real always recognize real na hii combination mimi nakwambia wewe enjoy value hii <coughs> e genius ya wetu hapa tarehe 28 hapo simapona yeah. it's not going to be like this 
tuko na the co master anakuja hapa na it's going to be like ah sio show ya nani basi show ya Mara Carey na Whitney Houston ndio hizo sawa hapo hapo nataka nataka nifahamu nini ma legend ya Bongo Flava tukizungumzia katibu uh, wa Wizara ya Sanaa wa Tamaduni na Michezo Mheshimiwa Monefe pia ni mmoja kati ya watu ambao walikuwa katika era yenu pia mpaka sasa hivi yeye anafanya muziki naye ni mmoja kati ya watu ambao wamepata mwaliko wa tarehe 28 na naamini atakuwa ni mmoja kati ya watu ambao wanafurahia tena kuwaona Monefe eh, ni vizuri kwamba juzi alituposti juzi alituposti alisema kuna viuno huyu mzee alipiga viuno vya paka chongo hadi mheshimiwa tena naibu waziri unajua naibu waziri tumempata na na ana anaijali sana sana na nafikiri 2 years of his experience subiri abu i'm talking to my minister why are you so jealous da anaitwa abis mjuu mtu tu akitanga iko mtani kongo nyuma sijeuri tu lakini na huyo shina baba kipenzi na kosa nyingi na maingo unajua bondeo na maingo wana makidai Oyo mimi kaka yangu na mwakinyo wanawaweka katika level fulani hivi ambayo naishi. Kwa hiyo kwanza mwakinyo ana game hapa katikati na nachukua nafasi hii kumuomba mheshimiwa mwana Efe. Kuniletea mheshimiwa naomba niletee mwakinyo. Kwa sababu ili pambano lake ni pambano la Tanga na mimi mtoto wa Kitanga pia. Kwa hiyo tunalinadi pia hapa. Na tunaondoka wote. Inshallah. Inshallah top band tunaondoka sisi mwakinyo na mwana efe na timu ya taifa na yanga simba shana naye ah sasa basi interview imeishika haiwezi kani bana interview imeisha bana bana no 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 basi hala simba 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 oye ah wewe unagubu timu nyenye mbofu vipi ka bana interview imeisha eh timu kali amesema simba ipo try again try again try again mheshimiwa try again mheshimiwa try again Mheshimiwa try again mheshimiwa Deuji tuna tiketi zenu za meza za laki tatu tatu nyi watu wakubwa Tuna meza zenu za watu laki tatu tatu meza zenu ku kubwa One thing Ricky Media Tunaweza tukawa tunapiga kelele tunatengeneza jokes tunatengeneza mazingira lakini nataka nikwambie tarehe 28 hapa target Mimi Kingira shingapi kwa kuna meza za laki mbili kwa VIP wamesema wataweka na afu hamsini na baketi kadhaa pia kwa watu fulani alafu kuna 1200 very reasonable very reasonable one thing nachukua wasaa huu na wakati huu kukwambia hautojutia okay hautojutia muda ambao umeutumia ni watu wawili ambao umepita hatua za maisha wameamua kukua wamechagua kukua na wanakwenda kufanya vitu tofauti sawa hapo 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 asante hapo bachila yeah. wadogo zako wengine wa era hii sasa hivi umewalika sisi tumemwalika kila mtu baba kuna zile simu za direct simu za direct zebana mdogo wangu bana na jambo langu bana unajua mtu kama Haji Manara yeah. ni mtu ambaye mimi namheshimu na mpenda na najua nini anafanya Najua heshima yake kwenye tasnia ya mpira. Najua umuhimu wake. Kumuona sehemu kama hii kwangu mimi sio kitu cha kushangaza. Lakini anatakiwa kujua wajanja wako wapi. Okay. Wajanja sasa hivi wako? Ndio bendi bora sasa hivi. Aji. Hii ndio bendi ambayo ukimuoa huyo Zailisa ndio atakayokupigia. Atakupigia nani? Diamond kila siku uko naye kwenye private jet maana mko hapa mko hapa msikizeni Sisi wala tuogopi mnachokifanya Sisi tunakiheshimu mnachokifanya Sema sisi tunapofanya mambo yetu alafu mnataka mpaka tuandike invitation tuaite kwa mbwembwe mimi siwezi You should be here You should be here Au sasa sikiliza tunatangazo tunatangazo Chila Simple tuna tangazo ili tangazo linamwendea katibu itikadi wenezi na mafunzo kaka yetu makonda makonda paulo baba paulo wewe ndio mwokozi wa vijana tunakuomba tunakuomba tarehe 28 kama oh. una spare time tupitie wewe ndio mwamba wetu chamu inokumenoga chamu inoga chamu inoga makonda wewe inokumenoga chamu inokumenoga eh makonda 
Mchimbi umenoga Mchimbi umenoga Samia umenoga Samia umenoga Samia umenoga